So then, Carl, Tomo, um, very difficult night's work, but actually an awful lot of positives to take from the game as well. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you know, definitely, it's, um, it's bitter, bitter sweet, really, but um, the result looks horrible, and um, you know, it is what it is, and we accept it and we'll move on. You know, congratulations to Cobb United on um, what looks like a really good three points for them. Um, anyone who was here will, will, will know the way the game's gone, and, and um, you know, certainly uh, some, some really good performances in our side, and uh, just, just not, not really a crazy, crazy, crazy game. A succession of chances, an awful lot of possession, but as you say, a number of guilt edge chances, just that lack that, lack that killer instinct tonight. Yeah, well, we've all said we could have played for we could have played for five hours tonight. We wouldn't have scored, and um, we were just uh, saying then before we started yeah. that when you know Sean Williams just smashed the face of the post with a rasping hundred mile an hour drive that the keeper didn't even see, and he comes back out as, as quick as he went in, straight to the dolly, and I turned around to the port. I said, "We just we better just wipe our mouths and, and move on tonight because this is just this is just outrageous." We had five one on ones. You know, Ryan's had the cross shots where he's clean on the keeper, and he's just. Uh, hit the air and fell over. Justin's driving in the first ten minutes or so, which is which is which is just sailed over, and uh, we could have won that game seven four. And um, you know, one of the guys in there from their bench said that that could have, that could have been a high scoring draw. But the, you know, we could have, we could have won it seven four. They wouldn't have had any complaints. But fair play to them, they've not put their lines, and, and, uh, and we are, and that's that's the part of the game. So, bro, you know. We'll be, we'll be totally unaffected by that game. It's, we've got, we'll, you know, we'll let other people look at it and be shocked and draw their own conclusions and we'll see it we'll, exactly what it is and, and, and uh, move on to the next one and you know, just put it beyond us. Uh, a return to the team right back for, for Mitch. Obviously, perhaps a bit of an unfair uh, question to ask Tomo, so we'll put this one to Abbo on this one. Um, very assured up and down the right-hand side tonight. Yeah, I thought the right hand side of our back four was fantastic tonight. John, John and Mitchell were, were terrific. There were lots of positives. We just again we just said to the guys in the dressing room, you know, I don't want any I don't want any dumb faces, I don't want any sulking. Um we we, 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 just, we just move on. We just move on from there. Like, you know, people have brought comparisons with Utah since the last year. There's not even a, a vague similarity with that. We've we played really well tonight. Uh, you know, could play. I think we were the better side, although I, I completely accept the result. You know, a great result for Cobb and a fair play to them. Um, but uh, individual performance, Neil McKenzie's got his match legs, uh, getting his match legs back now, he's managed to get through 90 minutes at a good, a good pace. I thought John Callum was fantastic. I thought uh, Sean Williams looked what he is, which is a really, really top player, going to be a super player for us. So I think the season will be. I think yeah. Mark has had a good performance as well. There's, there's, there's been lots of good performances, you know, with, with, winning, that, winning that result. Some real good performances. And, I know it's an unfair question what you're asked, but I think Mitch coming back into the side tonight, he's done things exceptionally well. You know, we've been there, Tottenham alongside uh, John, who was outstanding for me tonight, absolutely outstanding. So it's, it's a tough one to pick the balance out of. And um, as I said, this time last year, exactly the same thing happened to you, Top, is that put it behind you. Eventually, you start to get a run of results going. It's about what happened at the end of the season, not what's happened in the second game. And that's the positive I take from it. Just move on. Obviously, you talk about there was a bit of a lack of conversion, but certainly in the first half, Sean Williams posed a, a huge attacking threat with, with pretty much with quite a bit of regularity down that uh, down that win as well. Yeah, well, she, yeah, Sean was brilliant, and um, and not forgetting that Sean wouldn't have started tonight, but Javier is unavailable tonight for work, and Luke Richards is unavailable tonight for work. So we then ended up changing the lineup. Uh, Luke would have liked really coming up back to Saturday. Sean could have come into the game in a central role. We would have had a very different line of attack, really, a lot more pace than we had. Um, but I still thought we played well in the game, and you know, um, we'll, we'll, be, we'll, be, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll move on from that, you know, and uh, it's not nice for any of us to, to absorb, really, and it's difficult for our supporters to, to digest and understand. But it's um, not, 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 not concerned, disappointed, yes. Concerned, man. It's a nice result aside. Obviously, it's now in the history books, the unbeaten record. It is something to look back on and we'd be very much proud of. Definitely. I think probably Paul is going to take the game like tonight for that to happen yeah. because um, we, we, we're never going to score tonight. It's just one of those things we're never going to score. So we come up against the side who score goals. The thing is, is uh, you, you know, you can criticise your back line and, and your, defend, your defensive players when 
when you make sloppy decisions and, and concede goals to it, which we did tonight. But on the other flip side, you know, players that start taking responsibility at the other end, there were some easy chances there tonight that we should have that we should have put away. All the players you know got that responsibility from that. You know, it's you can't afford you, you to make mistakes at the back. When you do, you get punished at the other end of the, of the pitch in the other 18 yard box. You have to put your chances away when you get them. And we had some really easy chances tonight. Put this one aside. Lot to look forward to for Saturday. Very historic game for the club. First FA Cup tie, and um, club, the lads will be looking to go again Saturday. Yeah, definitely. That looks a tough down. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, I don't, you know, I don't feel tonight like I did last season when we had that, you know, the toughest of game. But it, it, it takes you a few hours, and you can't wait to get back. The, the remedy for a bad result is getting back in and doing it again. And uh, the boys will always feel like that. We'll always feel like that. Yeah. And the boys will feel like that. We're on the same page. And, you know, Saturday can't come quick enough, unfortunately. I can't be here Saturday, I've, uh, I've got to work, which I'm devastated about. I've got, I've got seven days to work, maybe my six, but um, Tom will have the boys uh, prepared, and, and, and I know the fellas will come back one to put on a good display again. I'm looking to not have to cheers.